Hi friends, welcome back to Ness's Nook. So tonight, we haven't had this in quite a while, and I wanted to make some Belgian waffles. So we're gonna go ahead and use the Belgian waffle mix. And I have the mix down here, I have the water out, I have the oil, I have the eggs, so we're gonna go ahead and uh, get that done up. Now, I did actually look, because I've, I'm very bad at um, keeping my uh, pamphlets that come with my items, I do have the Cruise and Art stand-up um, Belgian waffle maker, and I could not remember because every time we do it, we fill the the mix too much and it comes out and it makes a really big mess and we just clean these up and I don't want to clean it up again. So what I'm going to do is Mark's going to help me here because we got two of them so we can get two of them going because it's just the four of us here. Um, I guess Mark and I is going to have blueberry waffles with my homemade um, blueberry uh, pie filling and Jack and Heinz is having just like oh, Mark's sure. doing maple syrup warming up in the microwave. So I'll bring you down here and show you what we're doing and then we'll get this all going. Now this is that whole box of mix. If you want honey you can crack the eggs and put that in there for you. Um, so we're going to go ahead and mix everything all together and then we'll save grace on the on the doing dishes. We're going to go ahead and just see use the same one cup because what they were saying was a scant cup of a scant cup of um, the mix to go ahead and use in the waffle makers so we're going to go ahead and get this all nicely you know whisked together and then we will spray the um, the waffle makers and we'll just go ahead and get these waffles made so I'm gonna go ahead and get this stirred up here for a minute. I won't keep you here and bore you. I'll be right back. All right, so that got all actually um, stir, um, stirred up and everything. So go ahead and open these up and spray the insides because you know you don't want some big mess. You can close that one time if you want. I don't touch, touch that part. <laughs> Ooh, that's hot. So, anyways, because I cannot find um, the container that this goes, so what Mark's doing is he's just pouring it from one, dipping it, and then pouring it in there so it halfway stays somewhat clean. Yes, that's nice and neat. All right, now. I don't know for sure, I'm gonna raise this up some. I don't know for sure if you can see in there, but you can see like the very top, that part you actually go ahead and throw away uh, when you're actually making this. And I'll get out a plate. And then, so what's gonna happen is, right now the, these lights show red, and when it shows green, it's actually done. So it's going to take, this is, we leave ours on four. It's going to take a few, and obviously don't touch the sides and stuff like that. And we'll bring you back when the next one is ready to be and uh, show you what it looks like when it's done here. Anyway, sometimes this happens. Obviously, um, maybe Mark slowed down when it was done. But I mean, you can still obviously keep this, but this one didn't make a full one. But you see how nice and brown this is. So he'll go ahead and try that again. I'm not gonna touch the top like I just did. <laughs> and then what I'll be doing is using my blueberry pie filling and then whatever is left in the pie filling, then what we're gonna do is making some um, homemade yogurt tonight and then we'll put out the leftover, uh, put the leftover uh, blueberries in there see if this one came out right now this is the way it's supposed to look now see what I'm saying about that little top you can still eat it you can eat the top you can toss the top whatever you want to do but this friends is what they're supposed to look like if we put them in there properly so that makes a really nice uh, waffle here so we'll go ahead and get that kicked out of there for a minute so that's not on the next one. You can put that one up and make this also. 
All right, and then we'll come back when we're ready to chop these and show you what some of them look like when they're chopped. All right, so this is Jackson. He just wanted butter and some maple syrup. Maple, this is actually make, um, the real maple syrup, not the fake stuff. So this is his, and if he wants a second one, there should be time to, or enough to make more, but that's his. So this is Heinz. He wanted whipped cream and butter. Did you do maple syrup? syrup? And he did some syrup on there, so that's his. Surprise, we have a surprise person here. So Kim and her blueberry waffle with my homemade pie filling. So that's gonna be her waffle. Yum, yum. And I'm getting mine around right now. All right, so this is mine. I put a little bit of more uh, pie filling than uh, Kim did, but this is mine. Oh, that's, oh, that fan's nice. Oops, sorry. All right, so this is Mark's. And yummy. so that's pretty good. So my question is to you guys, have you ever done your own homemade waffles like this? Do you make them like in a whole box like this? Um, usually what we do is we don't usually have so many people over. Ouch. It's just Mark and I. Can you unplug it, honey, please? And then what happens is when this cools, then what I do is I take some parchment paper and I put in between the waffles. And then, you know, I put it in the freezer bag. And then what happens is when I want a waffle and I don't want to go through this whole mess of waffles, then what I just do is I just warm that up and then um, just put that in the in the June and go ahead and just put it on the toast feature. It warms up the bagel or the um, waffle just perfect. So let me know in the comments down below if this is something you do. There went Jack again. He's having a little bit more waffles. So thank you very much for stopping by. I hope you have a very, very blessed and wonderful day.